Hi, Mike Kennedy here and we're looking at mullein. And these are second year plants and how can we tell that? Because they're putting up a stalk here, see? This is the, the second year. The first year they, they put all their energy into preparing the root for the next year. And this year they're going to be putting up this tall stalk. Now here happens to be one of the stalks from last year. You can see the seed cases on the top here. Uh, these were actually yellow flowers and then they uh, you know had the seeds but look how long the stalk is I would say this is between four and five feet long and uh, there you see a first year mullet plant for sure see how that plant is just a arrangement of leaves and there's no big effort to make that uh, second stalk plants a lot smaller too the thing I've used mullein for is for foot pain. You take a leaf like this off and you put it in between your sock and your foot in your shoe and it helps relieve foot pain. I honestly didn't think it would work but I tried it and it did. And uh, the most common use is to take this flower head when it comes out, you take the yellow buds and they'll, you could find a formula for doing it, but you mix it with olive oil, and that's used for uh, ear infections. People also use the leaves in tea or smoke them for respiratory problems. I wouldn't suggest that you smoke anything because uh, your lungs don't like fine particles of carbon. Even if there isn't the tar or nicotine that cigarettes have, uh, just plain carbon can cause respiratory problems and you just don't want to do it in my humble opinion but there we go the mullein plant and the other use it's called nature's toilet paper because it's so nice and soft and it's not going to irritate it's not like you're using poison ivy or some other plant so uh, I find it a, a pretty plant I enjoy seeing it uh, watching it grow and I've actually transplanted, well, I, last year I transplanted some to my yards and they seeded and now I have uh, like five small mullein plants growing in my yard. So I'm kind of excited about that to have transplanted a, a uh, wild medicinal plant in my yard and getting it to grow. I mean, I have a lot of plants that grow naturally that are medicinal in my yard. I don't take that good care of my yard and I kind of let things grow that want to grow. Uh, to others it doesn't look too nice, but that's what I like to do. It's uh, fun watching the progression of things that grow and come about. So uh, mullen, there it is. I see a lot of the plants and I have to correct myself already. I said mullen, but it's supposed to be mullein. It's supposed to rhyme with Kathleen. But I learned to say it the wrong way before someone corrected me, so I tend to say it the wrong way. But uh, uh, again, pioneer plant grows in disturbed ground. We were trying to dig one of these up. We'd probably find that the roots go four or five feet at least out vertically on this plant so that it can gather all the nutrients it needs, even if it's in poor soil. So it can grow where other plants can't. And of course, as it grows and decays, uh, it's gonna be enriching the soil after that second year. Of course, other mullein plants are gonna grow, but the uh, seeds can remain dormant in the soil for up to 100 years before they find the conditions right to sprout. But right here we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants. These these all look like second year plants here. And if we look further down, we see another bunch there too as well. This is like the Moline capital of of southern Maine, in my opinion. You see a lot of it on the power lines too, where they've had trails and things and where they, 
they dug in a little for snowmobile trails and disturbed the soil. You find a lot of it on the power lines as well. Here I would guess is a first year plant next to a second year plant. You can see the difference in uh, this one forming that that stalk coming up and all those central leaves where this one's more of just a rosette or leaves that are coming out from the center. It's not making this big effort to produce a stalk. Where this one is, if we look down closer, you'll see it even more so. See how tall that is there? And then we switch over to the other one and you can see how, how flat that one is. More of that rosetta rather than uh, just producing the stalks. We have our another second year plant and look at over here we have these very small ones. There's, uh, there's at least four little plants there that are uh, making their way up quite behind the other plants but as I say they'll be putting spreading their roots out putting their energy into the main root and uh, getting ready for sprouting next year, for sprouting out that uh, stalk and producing the flower head. I mean, uh, it's all about reproduction. Uh, when you look at plants and animals, you see that's what drives all of creation, is the, the, uh, the drive to reproduce, the drive to uh, disseminate uh, seeds or to have offspring so uh, this Moline just loves this place up here and it's doing well here and here we end our video with just a look at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Oh my goodness, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33, approximately, oh, there's another one, 34 uh, moline plants in this little area. I usually find that when there's a spot where they grow, you usually don't find a single plant, you usually find multiple plants.